Well, I'm going to show you something completely new. This is what's called Invoicing 360. And this is where now you can do all of your invoicing right from this screen. And you can also see uh, what's, what's been invoiced. Uh, you can confirm lines. You can look at billing requests and so on right on this one screen. You can also filter to particular business partners. So you can see here I have several sales orders that I've gone ahead and, and then I've processed. Um, and you can see here, let's take this one as an example, it shows up in what's called billable lines. So what this is is the, the order has been shipped and it has been released to invoicing. So it pops up here. So you can think of this as your queue of all the sales orders that still need to be invoiced. Quite convenient because at the end of the day, you know exactly what's out there instead of having to go up and look it up in, the, in some other session. You can just see the queue right here. You can also see information about that sales order. You can see, for example, you can see the shipment number. You can see what sales office it came from. And let's see if I can go across here a little bit. Excuse me while I sort of resize the screen. There's a lot of other information here about it. Okay, so here we have invoice information. So this is also very convenient. You don't have to go to a separate session to look up all the invoicing information. Here's the invoice number, what type of invoice it was, could be a sales order, could be a service order, when it was approved, uh, what sales type it is. So this tells you what uh, business partner, uh, financial business partner group it went to. Tax number of the customer, tax country, everything you can think of. It's all right here related to invoicing. So this is billable lines. This is the invoices that have already been invoiced. And you can see here, I can easily look them up. Uh, of course, if I wanted to go to Excel, I can just hit the button. It didn't pop up, did it? <laughs> Let me do the quick export here. Oh, I think it's set. Oh, here it is. Okay, great. So you can see we have all the summary information, like what company it is, business partner information. You go over here, you have the transaction type, invoice number, invoice, you know, and so on. So it's all pops right into Excel. So if somebody asks you what's been invoiced for a particular customer, you just filter it and send it to Excel. Okay. Uh, let's see. So what else on here? Um, you can you can drill into these invoices if you wanted to look for more information. So this is the source documents and everything. So this is a summary information, and then if you wanted to look at tax information, how much tax sales tax was. Uh, turnover is the the sales amount, uh, and if you had any, this one doesn't have installments, but if you had any installments, they would be out here. Um, any related invoices, that would be if you had an installment and you had multiple invoices for the different installments, it would be right here. I mean, so you can see there's a ton of information right here that you can get to directly. All right, so, and you can see summary information up here when you highlight a line. So this is basically if you were to just pick a business partner here, uh, let's say Morgan Hill Electronics. I can't remember which one I used. But if I want to filter it, you can see the billable lines for just that business partner down here. Okay, so you see I have three of them here. So let's say I wanted to go ahead and do an invoice here. I can highlight the line. And let's say I wanted to print a draft invoice. 
kind of a in bond five is a bit of a pain. You got to go in there and you got to stop at that step and print a print a draft, and then you got to do the final invoice and such. Here you can just click preview. Just going to print it. Oh, so I'll print it to PDF here. Okay, there's my preview, and you can see it's a draft right here. So this is how the invoice is going to look. And let's say you had an instance where, you know, some of this information was wrong. You can go back and you can fix on the sales side if you wanted to change prices and discounts on a sales order, for example. You can go back and do that. Maybe that was there. No, it didn't. It's right here. I, I sometimes I can't remember whether I have it up here on the, this bar or I have it down here. No, I have it down here. Okay, so I previewed it. Now I'm going to go ahead and create it. So what it, what it will do is you can just pick and choose. So before in Bond Five you had to run it in a batch process, right? So if you by mistake if the batch process ran and you got something invoiced that you didn't want invoiced for whatever reason, uh, you you couldn't you were basically screwed. You you couldn't go back and reverse it once it's finally um, processed. The final invoices process. So it's telling you, hey, is this are these the invoices that you want to uh, these the selection that you want? Is it here? And we say yes. Okay, there's the invoice right there. Perfect. And you should see up here, you should say original. Yep, original. So it's been processed. And now, since it's been processed, you can go over to invoices, and you can see that this one's been done. So it probably is down towards the end. So it's going to be the last one, right? Uh, no. Let's see. So, oh, it's doing it in reverse order. There it is right there. Okay. And you can actually go from here, you can actually go directly, I believe no, let's see. Oh wow. You can even go to AR straight from here. You can view the open entries. So here's all my open entries for that uh for that customer. Right here. Okay. So you'll see that in some in in a lot of cases you'll see the invoicing uh let's see one dashboard might be tied to another. So you can go back and forth. So an example would be let's see invoicing the AR dashboard the 360 is tied to the invoicing 360 so you can toggle back and forth between those two you can go back and forth. Okay? Pretty slick. Again, the entire invoicing process is right here. Um, I can look up billable lines, which is what's in my queue. I can look up invoices that have already been done. Uh, actually, I can even run credits through here. I can do what's called credit and rebill, which is a new, also new functionality, so that I can actually have the system automatically credit an invoice by doing an, a negative, a credit note, uh, and then creating a new invoice uh, off of that with a new amount. So um, before in Bond 5, I believe, I don't know what your process would have been, but you probably would have put in a, another sales order line that's a credit, um, invoice that through as a credit note, and then go and put another positive line. You may or may not have to ship it. Uh, you might have to return the inventory or, or whatever. I don't know what your process is, but this is a lot easier because you can just do it right from here.